This morning I opened my inbox to find an email from Mashable saying anatomy of the world's top CEO's infographic. So naturally I opened it and there's a big picture of Mark Zuckerberg. So naturally I clicked it and I opened up the article and the article had a huge infographic that showed some really depressing stats like 98% were uh, male and only 2% female. Uh, 36% of them had receding hairline, uh, 37% wore glasses, 3.1 children each, and 97% were married. Now, of course, there were a whole bunch of other stats, but they weren't above the fold on the infographic and decided to go down and check the comments. In the comment streams, many people were like, oh, so I have to get married to become a top performing CEO? And there are women saying, well, I guess that's it for me. So looking deeper at the data, I saw that the infographic was done by CEO.com um, with help of Domo, one of their partners. And it was based on a Harvard Business Review uh, study that was being done. And I thought, well, that doesn't sound very much like Harvard Business Review type data. In fact, that sounds exactly the opposite of what Harvard Business Review would do. They would look deeper into characteristics rather than demographics. So I clicked through and I read the report, actually. I paid six ninety five to download and read the report, um, which was really interesting and actually focused on the fact that the top performing CEOs are more long-term strategic thinkers than they are short-term thinkers and trying to get short-term gains uh, at the expense of long-term gains. I, you know, that I can get behind, but nowhere in the article did it say that um, a characteristic of being a top-performing CEO meant that you had to be a married uh, man with a receding hairline. In fact, uh, there was only one mention that there was a small percentage of women and it was more of an aside than a central piece to this article. So I went back um, and I started to poke around and I realized that that CEO.com and Domo didn't actually take data necessarily from the report that Harvard Business Review painstakingly put together. Instead, they looked at the graphic that Harvard Business Review had put together to show the faces of all of these CEOs and actually put together this demographic profile of what a top performing CEO looks like and then put it out there. Now, the problem with all of this is that it's an incredible misrepresentation of the data. And not only that is, well, when you put it in infographic uh, perspective, people are going to receive the infographic and not necessarily go to read the full report. And definitely a lot of people will fall off and won't pay the six ninety five to read the full report and not just the synopsis by Harvard Business Review. So therefore, the the infographic is representing, misrepresenting the data, but becomes a representation of the data and becomes the truth for a lot of people. I think it's very, very uh, irresponsible of CEO.com and Domo to focus on the demographic stats that really had very little to do with the study that was actually quite um, intri interesting and, and proved, I think, a really great point that more CEOs should think in long-term perspective rather than short-term perspective. And not only is it um, irresponsible, it is downright damaging to, I think, uh, a lot of perceptions of who can be in leadership positions. Uh, it's damaging for those who may have previously thought they could be in leadership positions, like some of the commenters. Well, now they thought they can't because, well, look at the data is overwhelming. You need to be a uh, male um, who's married with children and receding hairline. I guess that counts me out. Um, but it also uh, gives people the impression that this is the type of person that makes the best leader. And I would think that uh, there are a lot of women, um, including myself, who have been advocating for and operating under the idea that long-term thinking is a much better way to approach business. So CEO.com and Domo, uh, I charge you to recreate that graphic with 
and highlighting the actual data that is important in that Harvard Business Review report. Harvard Business Review, get behind me on this one and, well, maybe create your own infographic that we can spread around. And Mashable, not that I really am surprised that you would, well, trick me on every, every, every end. Mark Zuckerberg was not in that article. But um, perhaps you could be a little bit more responsible with your reporting on this stuff. <laughs>